So our next award is gonna go out to the best documentary. These are stories of skiing and skiers that give us a deeper perspective of the sport. Something more than just highlights, more than just trick, trick, trick. Something with a narrative. And now let's go for the nominees of best documentary. Oh, oh. With stars, two lovers in the dark on the run from the one that they call Share Spark. Six guns by the side and bullets oh, round yeah. the waist. Two shots to the sky, sigma sign for the chase. The safe was nearly empty and they were nearly free. But was seen by the good eye of the mean Billy Green. And he screamed at the top of his lungs. They're on the run. It's the two outsiders. Grab your horses and your guns. I said I wish that they could stay here. And the nominees for Best Documentary are Legend of Oz, Greg Stump Productions. Yeah, extreme Skier is something that is a real erratic um, extension from mountaineering, and it is a descent of a mountain that has skis on it, and that is basically the, uh, the real thing. You do yours a lot of times wearing a... Uh, a helmet cam, right? Um, with which you shoot things like like the blizzard of Oz. McConkey, MSP Films, and Red Bull Media House. People like Shane, I envy. People who are willing to see past fear and go to the place of, of what's really possible. I think he found out how to tap into life in its like purest form and feel life at its highest level. It was like he had found this pot of gold. Winter's Wind, skis, Matt Herringer. And poles and going fast. That special gear was my ticket to fly. Skiing was my first real taste of freedom. And that worked for everyone. See, Dad would just drop me off at the hill so he could find his own freedom, making phone calls, business, or whatever. I just knew I wasn't going to see him until 4.15. So with hot chocolate money in my pocket, I made my way to the lift. And that's when it happened. CRJ, the chronicle of a free skiing icon. Forefront Media. It was an amazing experience for him, and uh, for him to have done as well as he did and to have as much fun as he did, I really felt like that was the time in his life and in his career that he'd been working for. You know, he was he had a beautiful balance of being humble and being human and loving what he does and loving his skis and, and just and being so present in, in who he is or was as a human being. And the winner of Best Documentary, McConkie, MSP Films, and Red Bull Media House. People like Shane, I envy. People. Sherry's coming up, the crew's coming up. Big standing O for these guys. tap into life in its like purest form and feel life at its highest level. It was like he had found this pot of gold. Thank you very much. There you are. Um, three year project, thousand hours of footage, and it's about a guy who is really important to everybody in this room. Steve Winter. Hello, thank you very much to Powder Magazine. We really appreciate recognizing uh, the work that we did. And um, thank very much to Shane for filming his entire life. And to executive producer Sherry for sharing that footage with everybody. <laughs> Imagine having your entire life on video, you puking in a toilet and then letting everybody see it. So thanks very much to Sherry, to uh, Red Bull Media House for letting us take our da own damn time making the movie, 
to Scott Gaffney, David Zeef, Murray Weiss, Rob Bruce, and um, thank you very much to all Shane's fans. Thank you. Um, thank you, everybody. I just have to say thanks. If it wasn't for Red Bull, if it wasn't for the MSP, if it wasn't for Powder, we wouldn't be here. Um, but most of all, if it wasn't for Shane, so many things in this industry wouldn't have changed, and uh, so thousands of people wouldn't be walking away wanting to live life to the fullest. So thank you, Shane. Yeah.